All right, my name is Wade Powell with Cornerstone Innovations, and I'm here to tell you about the fast flow lids. See that this works. All right, much better. Today, there are more than 10 million race finishers in the U.S. each year, and more than 14,000 organized races. And at those races, you'll find kind volunteers that are handing out 57 million cups to runners. But for the runners, the experience isn't that great. Most runners are spilling that liquid, they're choking on it, or they're splashing in their face, up their nose and in their eyes, and their clothes are getting wet and sticky. Not a great experience, but there is a solution. We've come up with a cup lid for runners. The lid has a few um, features that are important. It has a small vent and a large opening and a smooth spout. It enables fast flow while running, or while drinking without spilling. Now you see the, the revised solution here on the right is revised based on feedback from customers. So there's a few improvements. The top is flat so that it's more stackable for the races. It has an improved industrial design, less, looks less sippy-like, and the colors are added on there to indicate what's in the, in the cup for the runners. So what's the benefit to runners? Well, hydration is now easy. Runners know the contents from a distance by just looking at the color. They don't need to slow down, which makes it uh, less congested at an aid station. Runners can drink as fast as they want without spills or messes. And actually, the race needs fewer cups, and there's less liquid that's wasted. So a couple of things that we've done. Our product was initially conceived in October of 2009, and we applied for a utility patent in July of 2010. And just last month, in January, we posted our first YouTube video on the product, and it has more than 12,000 views. Very positive feedback on that. We're here pitching it five across today, and then next month we'll be debuting the Fast Flow Lids in our first race. That race is Run the Bluegrass Half Marathon here in Lexington, Kentucky, on the 31st of March. They purchased 3,000 lids at a full retail price. And we're going to be there to interview and uh, videotape the lids in use and interview the racers before and after. So we want to tell you about the, the runners, their demographics. First, they have money that they can spend. And second, they're willing to spend money for a better experience. Market size, as we mentioned before, is 57 million cups in races each year in the U.S. And we plan to be able to get to 50% of the marathons half and full and at least 20% of the other shorter distance races. That equates to about 30 million lids sold to races at five cents each, each year. That returns a $1.5 million revenue annually and $600,000 of profit. We also plan to leverage word of mouth amongst runners to drive demand. So what are runners saying about this? We've received these actual comments in the YouTube video, and they're saying, I'm going to start running races again if I can drink from a cup with a lid like this. I'm not even a marathoner, and I want to use this. And this would benefit anyone, everyone. Car trips, parties, sports events, hospitals, etc. But we tend to agree, and we found that there are other markets as well that have similar needs. Anywhere you have a cold drink, that you're on the go or moving around, it applies. So in concession stands, it's great for frozen drinks like smoothies. You're able to actually drink through it better than through the straw. It's great when you have ice drinks that keeps the ice from spilling and, and splashing you when that shifts. It's really good for young children that are graduating from a sippy cup and for elderly that might shake a little bit. The fast food market is another great market. You know, it's just simply a more natural way to drink than drinking through a straw. And it's greener there's less waste when you can get rid of the straw. You know, it's, much, it's much like the cold drink is equivalent to the, the hot drinks, the coffee cup lids. So it's natural and we see this as the future for cold drinks. So how do we make money in the fast food? We're going to make money by saving money. And if you look at McDonald's as an example, it's just one, we estimate that they're using more than five billion straws per year. Those straws don't cost much, they're two tenths of a cent each. But if you look at all of that together, our strategy is now to split the cost savings with them. They can save $5 million a year, and we can make $5 million in license royalties. 
So who wins? Fast food restaurant owners win. It's cut. It saves them some money. We were able to make a profit. Lid manufacturers and distributors are still able to make the lids and get their same margin that they do today. And then the customers and end users have less waste and a better product. So what's next for us? We're meeting with the fast food CEO in the next couple weeks. We plan to raise funds on Kickstarter. We're already approved for our project and started putting that together. We'll be supporting Run the Bluegrass Half Marathon, as we mentioned. We'll produce a follow-up YouTube video after the race. And then we'll start actively marketing to races throughout the U.S. Soon we'll be able to start production with a high volume manufacturer and then our plan is to sell, sell, sell. So, ready for any questions that you may have.